We begin with breaking news, a shakeup in the White House communications team. CBS News has confirmed communications director Mike Dubke is out. Now, this move comes as a role of President Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is also under scrutiny. The FBI is focused on Kushner for allegedly trying to establish back-channel communications with Russia. Major Garrett is at the White House with the latest on the story. Major, good morning. Good morning. The Mike Dubke move has been in the works for a good long while and by itself in no way constitutes a major shakeup of this White House communications team. But more big moves are in the offing and could happen very soon. Here yesterday, Trump's first campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, and his deputy campaign manager in the home stretch of the campaign, David Bossie, were here. They met with the president and all West Wing senior staff. Both could be brought into this White House or assigned by this White House to create a war room to deal with the ongoing Russia investigation stories. In his first Memorial Day speech as commander in chief, President Trump called fallen U.S. soldiers heroes. We can never repay them, but we can always remember. Present. The president paused after laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Later, he met families and a mother memorializing her son. You take care of yourself. Thanks so much. The solemnity of the day contrasts with continuing drama inside the White House. Top advisor and son-in-law Jared Kushner is now a focus of the investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and transition with Russian officials or operatives. CBS News has confirmed that when Kushner met with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December, the two discussed setting up a back channel for communications between the Trump transition team and Russian officials. Administration aides describe that as standard procedure. I don't like it. I, I just don't. But Republican Senator John McCain said what's standard for the Trump team isn't. I don't think it's standard procedure prior to the inauguration of a president of the United States by someone who is not in an appointed position. The negative publicity has made Kushner vulnerable for the first time and made space for chief strategist Steve Bannon to regain some influence. But Kushner's allies argue that President Trump considers the best part of his recently completed foreign trip the three legs that Kushner organized, Saudi Arabia, Israel and Rome. That work, like the $110 billion arms deal with the Saudis, Jared helped negotiate, is valued most by Mr. Trump. The president told the New York Times about Jared Kushner he has total confidence in, in him, adding he is a very good person. Alex? Major, thanks.